Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about yet another file explorer alternative or replacement. So this one's called MU Commander. So when I say replacement, I don't mean it's going to replace File Explorer, but you could use it as a replacement or you could use it alongside File Explorer. All right, so this comes in two versions. There is a standalone and then an installable version. So I always like to use the standalone or portable version for testing purposes before installing the real version to make sure I like it. But with this, one problem you might run into, this is the standalone version here. It's just a zip file and then you extract all the files and run the executable like this. Then you get this message saying it needs Java Runtime Environment 1.8. And if you click OK, it'll take you to the website where you can download and install it. So that's up to you, of course. You may or may not get that message. OK, so I have the installable version open here. And then if you've ever used Double Commander, you can see it's kind of similar because it has the dual pane option, you know, kind of like an FTP app would also have, where you could drag and drop files between a couple folders. And then you could do things such as sort by name, size, date, and so on. And if you want to go up a level, you could just do this. Go into a different folder, for example, like so. Go into Documents, and so on. And then you could also go to File, and New Tab. Then you could have a new tab. Let's say we want to go to our pictures here, like that. You could toggle in between. Then you can see this one has a heart because you can make favorites. You could do that from here or also from the bookmarks. You could add the current folder to a bookmark and then it'll be in your list and you could just come here to your bookmarks and open it really quickly right from there, kind of like with a web browser. And then of course you could edit your bookmarks if you want to add or remove some from there. All right, and then when you click on the main drive letter here, for example, you could go to your C drive, desktop, other drive, you could get to your network shares if you're on a network connection, Bonjour services, Android, SFTP, you know, FTP sites, NFS shares, and so on. So I have Dropbox configured here. So if you want to access your online cloud files using this, you can. You just need to sign in. So the only bad part is you have to sign in every time. So once you sign in once, well, the first time, actually, you'll have to go through and give it the permission. And then when you do this, it'll open up the Dropbox page. Say allow. And then we'll give you this one time code here. You can paste in here. Click on connect. And now you can see I have the Dropbox files here from the Dropbox website. And of course, you could always leave that open and do a new tab. And then you could toggle in between them like that. All right, let's go through some of these menu items here. So we have new window, new tab, back and forth, up. You want to go home, stop the folder change, kind of like in a browser. Then you have mark files and unmark files. So you can mark them based on a name or extension, but there's some better mark options up here. So let's say we let's say we click on this JPG file, mark extension. It'll mark everything with that extension in red. Then you can come back here and unmark everything. And then, of course, you could also, you know, do the usual hold down control or hold down shift to mark them as well. And then you could invert your selection here, too. So let's say you have certain ones marked and you want to have the opposite marked. So let's go back. All right, so we could also, let's say we have some marked here. You come up here, invert selection, which will unmark these and then mark everything else. So that may or may not come in handy. All right, we have swap folders here. If you want to swap the two sides, set the same folder. So if you want to have the same folder in both panes, whatever one you have selected here, you just click on this and then it would open it over there as well. Unmark these here. There we go. Uh, you could zip files, unzip files. Has a nice search feature. You know, search by wildcards or put in your 
search string, make it case sensitive where you want to search. If you want to search in subfolders and archives, uh, set a size limit for searching and a search depth and so on. So here's your favorites thing or bookmark. Then you could edit the bookmarks from here as well. You have edit credentials, connect to a server, show open connections. So this shows our Dropbox connection. It's still open. Toggle the terminal. So it'll open a terminal in this location that you happen to be on. And come here and turn that off. Send by email. Reveal and explore. So let's say we have this picture here. Like so then you have your properties. The properties doesn't give too much information compared to what File Explorer shows you. Then you have some settings for the app here. Change your folders and appearance and shortcuts and so on. All right, then up at the top here, I have a bunch of stuff on the file menu. A new window, new tab, open, reveal and explore, back to search here. Some of the same options we saw from the toolbar. This one's kind of cool to change date, so let's go back here. So this is 61022. So we'll make this a 61024. And I can see it changed the date right there. So that's a nice feature. Uh, some permissions if you want to change the permissions on a file. Preferences, that'll just open up the settings. And we saw the mark options here. You can also copy files, copy names and paths, compare folders. So this would have to have you know similar uh, files in there to really compare. So this is another feature that Double Commander has. So if you have two folders with similar information here, then you could use that. Then it would just highlight the ones that match on both sides. A lot of view options here, same swap folders, set same folder. We saw those options in the toolbar. Sort by extension. Default to sort by name here. And of course, you could just click on the column header to do that. Reverse the order. And if you want to add some other columns here, like owner or group, hide the toolbar, customize the command bar. So a lot of options there you could choose from. All right, then we have to go back, go forward, go to parent. Uh, connect to server again, and then some of the recent files here are drives. Here's the bookmarks which we saw, and then the window. You want to do it horizontally, you could do that. Split equally if you want to make it exactly the same. Then we have some themes, and then some help. And then, like I was saying too, you know, you could. You could just come over here and drag and drop a file over there and so on. And when you delete a file, it'll go to the recycle bin unless you uncheck this box here. And then it'll delete it permanently and bypass the recycle bin. And then, of course, you could come up here in the address bar, type in an address, open as many tabs as you want, toggle back and forth. You could right click in here if you want to change some of the column headers. And then down here we have some options. So once you select a file, you can view, edit it if it's editable, of course, copy, move it, make a new directory, delete it, refresh, or close the window. And then you see the drive status down here for free space. And that's about the uh, gist of it. So I would definitely try it out just to see how you like it. Maybe even compare it to Double Commander and see which one you like better. And like I was saying before at the beginning, it's not a replacement for File Explorer. It's just an add-on or an alternative to File Explorer. So you could use them both side by side if you want. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download MU Commander and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.